Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relia, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're playing some Hollow Knight, and I'm going to show you how to find the Monarch Wings, also known as a Double Jump Ability. Just note that you're going to need the Crystal Heart Ability before even going after the Monarch Wings. First things first, we're going to start at the King Station in the City of Tears right here on the map. I'm going to go ahead and speed up a lot of this footage to make it as quick and easy for you as possible so you can get the most out of your game time. So as you can see here, we're going to start from the King Station and head left into the City of Tears. We're going to go down the shaft and into the Ancient Basin. Do your best to avoid the spikes. I just cut out any of the images of me falling onto the spikes to make this go a little bit faster for you. I always like to try to use the Crystal Heart ability to get across this area right here because I hate fighting these flying guys. And sometimes it doesn't work. It is what it is. You can just run right by them. This next room right here is where you're going to find the tram, and as you can see here on the map, we made our way down into the ancient basin just a little bit. We're going to keep heading down into the left. In this next room, you're going to find a well-deserved bench. I feel like it's a very long time you end up going without a bench, so you're going to want this one. This is where you need the Crystal Heart ability. You cannot get here without this ability. If you need to know where to get the Crystal Heart, go ahead and click on the video above. So now we just need to work our way around on the map. Go ahead and follow along, and I'll show you how to get there. Just note these enemies do take more than one hit to take down. This is just a little bit of movie magic, so in that way we can get through this tutorial as quickly as possible. Boom. Just like that. What can I say? I respect your time too much to make you watch me fight that thing. So when you come up this way, make sure to hug that right wall because this is what's going to open up a shortcut so in that way we can get back through here without going the long way around. And believe me, you don't want to go the long way around because it might take you more than one attempt at defeating the broken vessel. This guy has essentially three main attacks. He's going to do this jump strike where he makes his jelly looking goo come up out of the ground. And you just have to watch out for it. I mean, you can really get a couple of hits in on him while he's doing this. He also has a dash ability where he will really let you know what he's going to do before he does it. He pulls back and shakes just a little bit before he does his dash. The last attack that he's going to do is this little head bob. And this is the most annoying attack that he has. Everything else, he lets you know from a mile away what attack he's going to do ahead of time. You're going to be able to take him out no problem. Don't even worry about it. Once you get past this guy, the double jump ability or monarch wings are right in the next room. If you did find this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Go ahead and leave me a comment. I reply to every single comment on all my videos. Again, my name is Relia, and thank you so much for stopping by.